Hi there, it's Bruce Hasty from Argo Yachting. Uh, today you join us aboard the Galleon 640 Fly. Uh, we're currently at the Dusseldorf Boat Show uh, and I'd like to show you around the boat that's on display this week. Come and join us inside. So welcome on board the uh, Galleon 640 Fly. Uh, we're here at the Dusseldorf Boat Show. Uh, this is our first year uh, exhibiting uh, Galleon yachts. Uh, we became one of their largest European dealers last summer. And you know, it's my pleasure to show you around this boat. There's, there's so many features. Uh, I hope you will uh, enjoy our tour. So before I take you inside and, and show you some of the features of the uh, 640, let's just have a little chat about the stern here. We've got a uh, two berth crew cabin uh, with access from the platform. Also, we have the laundry in that cabin. We have a high-low platform here with an integral staircase. Really nice feature on this boat. The platform will lift 700 kilos, uh, which is more than adequate to pick up a four to four and a half meter Williams. You join me here in this amazing aft cockpit. This boat has the extended flybridge, uh, which creates this huge seating area with one of the biggest tables I've seen on a boat of this size. Uh, we also have the electric uh, aft sunshade as well. So before we move inside, uh, let's take a look at some of the features here. Uh, we have the beach mode with the fold down balconies. Um, this also includes opening uh, side patio doors uh, with a bar area on the port side and also on the starboard side. Another lovely feature of the, uh, the 640 uh, is this huge open rear galley entrance. Uh, this window is electrically operated, drops down. Behind we have a TV for cockpit viewing. And then we have a very large galley here. There's some wonderful detailing in the joinery here. This is uh, Eucalyptus Nero with the backlit LEDs. The galley area is fully equipped with dishwasher, oven, hob, plenty of storage, uh, we have a full height fridge freezer in this section here. Very convenient for the bar if you wish to serve some drinks. And as we move forward, uh, we have a lovely little wine cooler here. And a very spacious and open, very relaxed saloon area. Uh, this particular boat has the hydraulic uh, high-low table so you can drop this down as a coffee table uh, and if you really need it we can put a cushion on top uh, to give an occasional uh, bunk or day bed. One of the uh, really nice features about the accommodation here is that we have a separate staircase for the owners and guest cabin and another staircase here for the VIP but just before we go down and look at those let's have a quick look at the helm station and these wonderful electrically operated seats um, the second one of which is an option you don't have to have this if you wish to create a little bit more space in this area but I think it's a really nice feature and gives you that luxurious feel very comfortable uh, has a very super yacht feel about this area lots of space very clear vision going forward. Skipper's helm door here, which is a very nice feature. Going forward, we have a, uh, an electric opening uh, windscreen. This is a unique feature on the galleons. Um, this is electrically operated uh, here. So we have a one touch operation. We've got a little bit of space, so let's go forward now and um, take a look at the seating area here. So one of the nice features here is that uh, this one has the electrically operated um, four deck seating area, um, which is brilliant for entertaining and one of the unique features of the Galleon range. Uh, the, both the tables are hydraulically operated and will lower with a cushion on top to create a nice big sun pad. Uh, and when the vessel is underway, you can actually move the sun pads aft 
and lower the forward end, uh, this will then give you visibility from the helm station if you were driving from inside. So let's go and look at the forward accommodation. But just before we do that, I just want to show you a little feature here. Um, we have an additional fridge and a sink, which is ideal if you are serving drinks on the foredeck. Uh, it saves you having to walk back through the saloon to the aft galley. Let's now take a look at the uh, VIP cabin. So you join us here in the Ford cabin. Uh, this is the VIP. Um, it's such a lovely space, actually could be considered the master, uh, although it's not on this boat, and uh, we will go aft and look at that next. We've got natural lights all the way through here, although you can't really appreciate it today because we're in a uh, we're here at the Dusseldorf Boat Show. Uh, ensuite bathroom with separate shower, lovely tiled floor. Uh, and this wonderful uh, 3D mirror, TV. And lastly, just before we go off, I just wanted to show you the backlit headboard, which is one of those striking features that we find on nearly all of the Galleon yachts. So you join us here now in the uh, owner's suite, Again, backlit headboard, some lovely detailing here in the headlining uh, with the panelling to match the joinery. Absolutely huge amount of storage on the starboard side. To port, uh, we have a desk area with two seats, huge hull window, um, giving an excellent view um, across hopefully a bay, but oh, today we're still inside the uh, hall at Dusseldorf, uh, so you can't really get the, uh, the, the full appreciation. And then slightly forward here, we have the ensuite, again, separate shower cubicle, uh, lovely ceramic tiled floor. And one of the unusual features on the 640 is that there is a guest cabin uh, just forward through here and a day heads. Uh, so let's go and take a look at those. So this is the uh, three cabin version. Uh, so we have uh, two single bunks. This still has an ensuite, which is just to starboard. Uh, this also doubles up as the day heads. So you join us now on the flybridge of the 640. Uh, this particular boat, as I think I said at the beginning of the video, has the extended fly. Uh, this puts another two meters uh, the aft end section, uh, giving this fantastic seating area uh, with one of the largest tables I've seen on a boat of this size. Very versatile because you can fold them away. And as you go forward, we have a bar area, fully equipped for entertaining with ice maker, barbecue, fridge, and two stools here, making it a really nice space for entertaining with your friends and family. We have another U-shaped seating area. Uh, this seat doubles up as a forward-facing passenger seat, or we can push this over, and again, creating a lovely seating area for guests. On the starboard side, we have the second helm, with a huge sun pad forward, a feature that's not always found on, on boats of this size. Uh, combined with the opening hard top, um, it's really versatile, so if you want to, to have some sun, you can, or we can close the roof uh, to give yourself a, a little bit of shade. And lastly, if we just take a quick look at the uh, Flybridge helm, uh, we've got a 16-inch Raymarine screen repeating all the information from down from the lower helm, also an autopilot unit and engine instrumentation. So I think we've covered most of the features here aboard the Galleon 640. Uh, this boat is available uh, for the 2024 season. Uh, as soon as we've finished at the Dusseldorf Boat Show, we intend to transport her back to Southampton, uh, where she can be viewed or sea trialled in the next month. If you'd like to learn a little bit more about the boat, including the price, please visit argogalleon.com. Thank you for watching. <laughs>